guys are four days into practice now. A lot of uh, a lot of drills out there today with quarterbacks, receivers. How you see things going? I think we're getting better at our individual stuff. One thing today is, you know, yesterday we got after them pretty good. Today they got after us pretty good. It's kind of going back and forth. We got to fight through a little bit more in the team settings. The individual stuff we're getting better at, but the team settings today was a little step back. You know what you have in Corey. You know what you have in, in Eric at quarterback and receiver, but you got a lot of other guys in the mix this year, um, some new guys and some guys getting some more reps this season. Yeah, we sure do. we got some guys that we've got to see what they can do and then start fitting them in their spots. We're still trying to check a few guys out at different spots. We're moving Dion around a little bit, moving a couple guys around. We've still got a few more changes, but we got two more install days, and then we got everything in. Uh, you got a good chance to see the, the young defensive backs and and what they were able to do today. Talk about what you saw from them. Well, I'll tell you what they did do is in one-on-one, uh, -on -one, we got them pretty good, but in Skelly, they got after us. They made some plays. They're breaking on the ball. It's been a little bit tougher here the last couple of days, so we got to keep getting better. Uh, as an offense, you get to put on full pads uh, starting tomorrow. How does that change what you guys do practice-wise? Well, the only thing that will really change is we'll have a couple of tackling settings where we can tackle and go to the ground. That gives us a chance to learn how to break tackles and be a little bit more physical in the perimeter. All right, Wilson, you've had uh, four days now working with this team in fall practice. Just uh, talk about how your adjustment has been to, to Troy. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, the, the main the main key has just been all the teammates. All, the, all of them have been real welcoming to me. Um, young guys and old guys are teaching me all the plays, teaching me the signals. Um, so, I mean, I can sense that it's a real big, uh, it's a true family over here. Um, and, and they're really wanting to not just help me out, but help all these other freshmen out and help all these other transfers out as well. What are some of the biggest adjustments that you're going to have to make from the what maybe what Tulane did to what Troy does? Uh, biggest thing is no huddle. We, we did a little bit of no huddle at Tulane, um, but we mainly huddled. Um, and so lo looking at all the signals, learning all the signals and everything, um, that's the biggest transition. Uh, coming in here as, as a senior and, and knowing that you got a guy back there like Corey and then also yeah. Dion, how much of a comfort factor uh, is that knowing what kind of leadership you have a quarterback? Yeah, I mean that's great. It, it's really good. Uh, I mean we had a quarterback last year who was uh, he was a he was a four-year starter. Um, so you can see the leadership with him in his senior year, and I can see it very similar over here with uh, with Corey and Dion. Coach Edenfield talk about the defensive backs. How you got them a little bit early on in practice, and they ended up getting you. Uh, a little bit later on. Talk about how they played today. Oh uh, yeah, they're doing good. They're picking it up every day. Um, I remember seeing film with them last year, and, and a couple people told me they struggled. Uh, but it's, it's hard to see that this year. Uh, they're really they're really picking it up, and they're really playing well. You getting some special teams looks on kick return and punt return. Talk about your past and that. Yeah. And where you come from? I was uh, I, the past two years. I was one of the backups for uh, punt return. And then uh, kick return, I did. I think my sophomore and redshirt, redshirt sophomore and redshirt freshman year. Um, and other than that, I've just been a couple other positions on special teams. You guys get throw full pads on tomorrow. I guess that means more yeah. a little bit for the bigger guys and for the wide receivers. But talk about what a little adjustment you have to have tomorrow. Yeah, uh, it's probably a little more thumping, a little more uh, energetic. Um, and uh, I, th I think it'll be good. A lot, it'll get the practice. Uh, you know, a lot of energy up in there, so a lot of action. So it'll be fun.